Why do people with Asperger's play video games all day? Being one of those people with Asperger's that did play video games all day, and let's be honest, sometimes I still do play video games a lot, it's more than just they're addicted to the computer. You know, I've heard all sorts of reactions. They're addicted to the computer. They're just uh, avoiding everything that they want to do. You want to know the truth? It's a multifaceted answer. Number one, video games are fun. They're just fun to play, and, and I enjoy them. But number two, that's, that's why we play video games. Why do we continue to play video games almost to the detriment of everything else? So we play Minecraft for 20 hours in a row. And it's like, oh my god, he hasn't eaten, slept, and needs to actually do his homework and, and get on with life. But when you look at it, so we play video games because they're fun. But we continue to play video games because that's where the safe place is. Because a lot of the times whenever I'm coaching parents, they say, they always yell at their kid to get off the video games. But if I'm playing something safe and the outside world has demonstrated to me that it's yelling at me, of course I'm gonna to continue to do the safe thing. We play video games a lot because when we aren't playing video games, the environment that we're in, usually the home environment, is very judging and you should be doing this, you need to be doing this, why aren't you doing this, oh my god, and it's like, whoa, hold on there. I'm really stressed out. I need some time to decompress, so I'm gonna go back to playing more video games. I'm gonna put on headphones, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, sure, whatever, just go away, please, because I'm doing my own thing and I don't want you, does any of this sound familiar? Once you create a safe home environment for someone with Asperger's, once you create a place where they can feel safe not playing video games, where they can go and do other things, and this doesn't mean let them play video games all day. This means set reasonable limits. Have some time where they aren't allowed to play video games, but don't use video games to like take away and control them. It's just like, you know, what if instead of doing video games, they like to knit? and they just, you know, we're knitting and making sweaters all day, and that was their thing. It's just a hobby. And like all hobbies, it does need to be controlled and metered and not overtake your life. But the reason why we do it, beyond it just being fun, is because that is a safe, non-judgmental space where we can make friends and feel secure in the world. Now, the reason why we aren't feeling secure in the world outside of it is generally because we are in defense mode. And once you get someone with Asperger's out of defense mode, that's when the game changes because that's when you can unlock their potential by helping them feel safe and secure enough to be motivated in the external world to go and do things, then life becomes a video game. But until then, they are going to be in their world playing their games because not only is it fun, but it feels safe. I encourage you to go on our website, AspergerExperts.com. If you're there right now, scroll down on this page and get some more information from us. Learn about Defense Mode. Join our email list. Learn about the Responsibility Agreement, which is the way to get your kids to play less video games without having this giant meltdown happen. Really get into this material because Honestly, and, and here's where the contradiction happens, sometimes the best way to help your kid with Asperger's play less video games is to play video games with them. Because then they start to feel safe, then they start to feel like they're in your world, you're in their world, there's a relationship forming, and you can now sort of take them out and do other things with them. So think about that for a second. Go on this page if you're on our website already, and scroll down, check out what's going on. Um, encourage you to learn more about us. My name is Danny Rady. I'm the co-founder of Asperger Experts, CEO, and I was diagnosed with Asperger's when I was 12. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. As always, I want you to remember you are creative, resourceful, and whole, and I'll talk to you soon.